In continuation, Saral Vastu presents series of talks explaining the concepts of Saral Vastu. North or east facing direction house or workplace. Is it an obsession? It is a commonly accepted fact among people who are purchasing new property for living or plan to invest in one to insist on the builder or developer or the broker to provide them with a property facing either north or east direction. Similarly, people who have their own plots and plan to construct a new house due to reasons best known to them insist on getting it constructed either in the north or east facing direction. The question that arises is why this insistence on having a north or east facing frontage direction and is the north or east facing direction an obsession really that important? It's a fact that all of us know of families joint or nuclear who live in homes facing westward or southward but have progressed or are prospering in spite of living in these kind of homes or houses. It's been observed that in cases pertaining to this kind of discrepancy, the most symbolic one is that of a father whose family prospered living in a particular house for years, bringing up his children, seeing them growing up in prosperity and richness, giving them the best things that life can offer. However, when the son gets ready to take up the mantle of being the breadwinner and head of the family, in spite of being in the same house, the son fails to prosper and suffers heavy losses in the business. Now this kind of a weird case of Vastu asymmetry is very hard to explain in relation to the position of the main door of the house. How come the main door be the culprit here? One of our beneficiaries asked a very significant question to us. A building in Mumbai had altogether 21 floors. The apartments on the 13th and the 14th floors have been built as per the Vastu principles. However, while an individual who stays on the 13th floor has access to all the luxuries of life and so much wealth overflowing that he does not know where to store his wealth. The other individual staying on the 14th floor has faced all kinds of losses and is on the verge of bankruptcy. Then what could be the possible reason for this kind of big and weird discrepancy? Now this being a very relevant question, let us try and give a satisfactory answer for this. It is proved beyond doubt that it is a myth that only the north and the east directions are the best. Based on the date of birth of a person, the favorable directions suitable for that person are decided. Each person has got four suitably favorable directions and four unfavorable ones. If either the north or the east suits a person, then it is possible to derive prosperity from houses or establishments facing these directions. On the contrary, if these directions do not favor a particular person or an individual, then there is every chance that the person may lose everything while living in such a house. Thank you for listening.